If you're selling on Amazon, you probably already know that showing up in search results is a big part of getting sales. But how do you actually figure out what people are searching for? How do you find the right words to put in your listings so that your product shows up when someone types something into that Amazon search bar? That's where Helium 10's Cerebro tool comes in. It's like a shortcut to understanding what keywords your competitors are already ranking for and how you can use those same keywords to get your product in front of a lot more people. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to use Cerebro bro to find high volume keywords, not just any keywords, but the kind of keywords that actually drive traffic and sales. And don't forget, you can go ahead and get 20% off your first six months just by clicking the link down in the description and using code ecommastery20. This way you can go ahead and follow along with us. Step one, find competing products on Amazon. First things first, we need a starting point. And that means heading over to amazon.com and searching for a product that's similar to what you're selling. Let's say you're selling a bedsheet organizer. Type that into the Amazon search bar and hit enter. Then take a look at the first page of search results. You're looking for the top listings that are ranking organically. So not the ones that say sponsored next to it. Click into five to 10 listings that look similar to your product. It helps if they have a good number of reviews and low best seller ranks. A lower best seller rank usually means that they're getting more sales, which is exactly what we want. These are the listings that we're going to study. Scroll down on each listing until you find the ASIN. That's the Amazon standard identification number or ASIN. You can usually find it under the product information section or in the product URL. Copy that ASIN and save it somewhere. We're gonna use these ASINs to run a reverse lookup in Cerebro. If you have Helium 10, you can also go ahead and get the Chrome extension and this will pull up the ASIN for you. So let's head over to Amazon and we'll type in bed sheet organizer. And as you can see here, you know, we've got these four sponsored up top. And so we want to avoid those. So we'll go ahead and go to these first organic results. We'll click on that one. We'll click on that one. And these all look very similar. So we'll go ahead and click on that one and that one. And then if you have the Helium 10 Chrome extension, you should have their ASIN right here. So I'll go ahead and copy that. I'll copy that and that. Step two, plug the ASINs into Cerebro. So now that you have all of your ASINs, we can head over to Helium 10 dashboard and open up Cerebro. This is where the magic happens. So paste in the ASINs that you've collected. You can enter up to 10 at a time. Now, once they're in, go ahead and click the get keywords button. Cerebro will now go dig into all the keywords that those listings are ranking for. What that means is it'll show you the exact search terms that people typed in on Amazon before landing on one of those listings. In just a few seconds, you'll have a massive list of keywords that are actually helping your competitors get found. In most likely helping them make sales, but we're not done yet. That list is going to be long, sometimes thousands of keywords. So the next step is to filter that list down to only the best, most relevant ones. So we'll go ahead and head over here to Helium 10. We'll click on our dashboard and dive into the Cerebro tool to go ahead and paste in those ASINs that we just grabbed from Amazon. So under tools, we'll come over here to Cerebro, which I have uh, on my favorites. And if you don't have it there, it'll be under keyword research. We'll go ahead and click on that. And let's go ahead and I'll paste those four ASINs in there and click get keywords. All right, after Helium 10 did its thing, we go ahead and scroll down here. And now we have all of these keywords. So there are 8,494 total keywords for bedsheet organizers, which is about 8,400 more than I expected. Step three, apply filters to focus on high impact keywords. So this part is really important. Without filters, you're going to be drowning in keywords. So let's clean things up a bit. First, go to the filters section in Cerebro and look for the one called organic rank. This tells you where the ASIN is showing up in the search results for each keyword. You want to focus on keywords where the product ranks between one and 20. That usually means those listings are getting solid traffic from that keyword. So here under position rank, we'll go minimum one, maximum 20, and we'll go ahead and click on apply filters. Next, look at the search volume. This tells you how many people are searching for that keyword each month. You want to aim for a good balance here, high enough volume to bring in traffic, but not so competitive that it's impossible to rank for. A good starting point is setting the minimum to 200 or 300. But if your niche is super competitive, you might want to bump that up. So we'll go ahead and put minimum search volume at 300, then use the number of competing products filter. This helps you see how hard it'll be to rank for a certain keyword. If a keyword has 50,000 other listings competing for it, it's going to be tough. 
off. Try setting a maximum competing product count, something like 1,000 or even 500 to find those hidden gem keywords that have good traffic but lower competition. So for competing products over here, we'll put maximum 500. Now, once you've set your filters, go ahead, click apply, and now you've got a much cleaner list to work with. So take your time to scroll through the list. Pay attention to which keywords pop up over and over and which ones feel like a strong match for your product. You're not just looking for big numbers here. Relevance matters a lot. A keyword could have 50,000 searches, but if it doesn't actually really describe your product, it's not going to help. On the flip side, a keyword with 500 searches that matches your product perfectly could be a gold mine. So let's go ahead and click on apply filters. And now we have a much smaller list of 11 keywords. So we go ahead and filter here by search volume. And this is a highly targeted list of keywords that'll work well for our product. Step four, save and organize your keywords. Once you've got your filtered list, it's time to organize everything. Helium 10 has a built-in tool called Frankenstein. It's not as scary as it sounds. It's actually really helpful. Go ahead and export your keywords from Cerebro and open them in Frankenstein. What this tool does, it helps you clean up and prep your keywords. You can remove duplicates, filter out unnecessary words, and turn everything into a neat, easy to use list. Here's what I usually do inside of Frankenstein. Remove duplicate words, convert everything to lowercase, get rid of numbers and punctuation, put one keyword per line. This makes it way easier when you're ready to write your listing or set up ads. Once your keywords are cleaned up, copy them over to another Helium tool called Scribbles. So from here, we'll go click on export data to Frankenstein. And this will open up a new tab inside Frankenstein. So we'll wanna remove duplicates, convert to lowercase, add only spaces, and we'll go ahead and put one word or phrase per line. From here, once we have our keywords the way that we want them, we can go ahead and click on Scribbles, and this will open up Scribbles where it'll take it over to that tool. Step five, use Scribbles to build a keyword rich listing. So Scribbles is where you actually put those keywords to work. Paste in your cleaned up keyword list. Then start building your product listing inside Scribbles. Title, bullet points, description, backend search terms, all of it. As you type, Scribbles keeps track of which keywords you've used and how many are left. This makes it super easy to make sure that you're getting maximum keyword coverage without overstuffing or repeating yourself. Here's the cool part. Scribbles shows you in real time how many important keywords you've used. If there are some that you missed, you can go back and edit your copy to squeeze them in naturally. You're not just writing to sound good, you're writing to be found. This is also a great way to spot missed opportunities. Maybe there's a keyword that you forgot to use in your bullet points or one that could fit naturally into your description. Scribbles helps you see that at a glance. Now, once you're happy with everything, you can copy the final version and paste it into your Amazon seller central listing. So from here, I have everything in uh, Scribbles. Let's go ahead and click on apply. And once we go ahead and start typing out this stuff, it'll go ahead and let us know which ones we've used. Bonus step, optimize backend search terms. So Amazon gives you a little extra space in the backend of your listing where you can add even more keywords. These don't show up to customers, but they still help your product get indexed. Use this space wisely. You want to include keywords that didn't quite fit in your main list and copy, but that are still relevant and have decent search volume. There's a limit here. Amazon allows up to 250 bytes, not characters, bytes. So some letters, especially symbols or foreign characters, might count as more than one byte. Helium 10 has another tool called Keyword Byte Checker that helps you stay under the limit. Just paste your list in and it will tell you how many bytes you're using. Trim it down if you need to, and you're good to go. Once you've finalized your backend keywords, add them to your Amazon listing. That gives your product even more chances to show up in searches. Final thoughts. So using Cerebro isn't just about pulling a list of keywords. It's about understanding what's working in your niche and how you can position your product to get found more easily. When you combine that with tools like Frankenstein, Scribbles, and the Byte Checker, you're setting yourself up for better visibility, better traffic, and hopefully more sales. So take your time with this process. Keyword research might not be the most exciting part of selling on Amazon, but it's definitely one of the most important. And hey, once you've done it a few times, it gets way easier. Now, if you wanna get started with Helium 10, you'll find a link for it down in the description below where you can go ahead and get 20% off for six months by using code ecommastery20, or you can choose to get 10% off every month when you use code ecommastery10. Again, link will be down in the description. And this is an affiliate link, which means that we earn a small commission when you use it at no extra cost to you. These commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue to create free content just like this. So if you end up using them, we thank you so much in advance. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on this channel, we're dedicated to helping you succeed with e-commerce by providing tips, strategies, and insights to grow your online business, so be sure to subscribe. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you here in the next video.